Carpell, I'm CEO and founder of Tradespoon, and today I'd like to go over current market conditions and trade of the day. Very important to read the disclosures. If you're new to trading stock and options, I encourage you to visit optionscreen.com to understand the risk associated with trading stock and options. All right, let's take a look. First, let's look at the stock for Rekia's Toolbox. This is an AI model that makes prediction for short-term and long-term trends. It's using neural network frameworks, and we have a proprietary data that we're feeding into the model to make prediction for the next 10 and 20 days by learning on the data and using the AI engine. Uh, for spiders, negative trend basically showing that the market is overbought. Next data point, we had the JP speak today. Not a lot of data, not a lot of news. He didn't say anything new. Market the kind of neutral. So the next data point is CPI and start of the earnings season. Both events are extremely important. You have a soft landing narrative where a lot more companies are switching to soft landing narrative. Goldman Sachs today is one of the proprietary research that basically shifted to more of a soft landing scenario. And then you have a hard landing scenario. If CPI is much better than expected and inflation is dropping, and then earnings from banks, uh, healthcare companies, UNH and airline, Delta airline is better than expected or even in line with expectations, then market can continue the current rally, potentially reaching 395 level or even 400 level. But if the opposite data, you know, if earnings are actually being affected by the prolonged elevated interest rate environment and the CPI data is either in line or worse than expected, then I think that will cause the market quickly to retest 52 will look close. Looking at the six months prediction, again, so without all the news, model doesn't see a lot of momentum beyond 400 level. So I think best case scenario, we reach 400, maybe even 410 level. But again, room to the upside at Spiders 390 is limited, probably limited by 200 day moving average, best case scenario by December highs. And uh, on the downside, uh, 52 week low, 350. I'm continuing to trade around NOC on the pullbacks. Yesterday it pulled back to 491. The price pulled back 491. I made uh, close to 2% today, holding a short period of time. Again, I'm continuing to trade around this position. I have my next trigger points are 541 and 560. So I continue to trade around NOC. We do have a live trading room every Wednesday. So tomorrow morning bell and closing bell will be broadcasted live. I encourage you to click on subscribe, like, the videos and share them on social media and hopefully obviously it will benefit our marketing efforts but it also will benefit traders with the navigating current market volatility finally i do have an announcement we do have finally launched this gate.org you know i'm part of this non-profit organization to donate money we just launched this new campaign gate.org tank where you can actually buy a piece of history, right? And directly, all the proceeds will go directly to the Ukrainian families. You can pick specific family or you can allocate based on your, and this is based on your preference. And then you can see it sponsored by chief, commander in chief of Ukrainian forces and chief of intelligence of the Ukrainian armies. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much. Consider donating, especially if you're trading NOC and you want to donate some of your proceeds to this cause. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much and have a great day.